Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Kay Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Pine Pond Superfoods and Train for Longevity. Today, we're going to be addressing why you do not want to do barbell back squats. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do, but I'm just going to give you some points that you should take into consideration when you want to do back squats, especially heavy ones. I particularly do not like them at all because of a few reasons. One of which is this. So let's just pretend this is a barbell. We're going to place this right back here on the top of our shoulders. Now, yes. The true technique is you're supposed to pinch your shoulder blades together to um, not allow any kind of strain or stress to be put on your cervical spine. But when you start getting up in heavy weights, you end up dropping your shoulders a little bit like this and that bar just automatically resides on the top of your cervical spine. So it is not good for your posture and it's not good for your spine as, as time goes on, especially when you get older. So that's one big reason why I do not like back squats. Secondly, this bar and my hands are pretty much stationary right here. When you're going into a squat and you have heavy weight here and you're lowering yourself down, if you have any kind of shoulder issue and your shoulder is not liking this feeling as you go lower because that is a lot of impingement you're putting on your shoulder as you go down, you're not, you don't have anywhere to go with your hands. So I don't particularly like it for that reason either because I feel like it's locking my shoulder into position in every single time I've ever done back squats. And believe me, I haven't done them a lot in my life. But when I do, I usually go light and I focus on really good form. My shoulders always end up hurting. Now you can sit here and say my technique is faulty or bad and that's cool. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. But I can tell you this. I think my form is solid as a rock and my shoulders still feel like they're, they're too tight and they're too pinched into a spot that I don't like. So that's another reason I don't like it. Now, another one, when we're doing a back squat and we're going down like this, we have a tendency, we as in the general population, to kind of do this. And as soon as you start hunching forward a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate. So a good squat would be like lowering yourself down nice and straight like this. But a lot of people come down and they're doing super heavy weight and they have a tendency to just go like this a little bit to try to get down lower. And then what happens? You put all this load on your lower, lower spine. So we don't want to do that. We want to protect our lower back at all times. And by doing heavy back squats and coming down like that over and over again, you run the risk of doing that. And as soon as you start doing this and going forward, you tend to do this with your knees and your knees start buckling forward too. So then all of a sudden you're putting stress on your knees. So you have a number of problems right there, in my opinion, with a back squat. Now something that I feel is way better than doing back squats is the front squat. You hold a barbell here, now your shoulders have a little bit more room to wiggle if need be, and you just come on down like this, and you have no problems. Or you can do the zercher squat, where you put your hands like this, and you cradle the bar inside your elbows, and then you come down, and you do your squats. Or, you don't even use a barbell at all, and you use dumbbells for squats, or my favorite, kettlebells. So you can do two kettlebells at once. Let me just grab a couple. And bring them into a double rack position. Bang! There's a beautiful squat right there. Or you can just do one kettlebell at a time and hold it like this and you can do a goblet squat and lower yourself down. Or you get a heavy dumbbell and hold it this way, go into a wide stance with your legs and do sumo squats, which will put a little more emphasis on your glutes, by the way. So you have a bunch of alternatives from the back squat where you can still build a good amount of mass and a good amount of strength in your lower body, in your legs, in your bowling pins. So take all that into consideration next time you want to do heavy back squats. And as always, let me know if you have any questions or comments. My name is Kay Rail. I'm the Chief Fitness Advisor for Pine Pond Superfoods and Train for Longevity. Make sure to like and share our videos and please subscribe to our page. Until next time.